Hey, this is Greg Ford from EGM here with... David Ellis from Game Videos. Yeah, and we're going to check out the uh, new GTA video that came out today. So, um, raid impending. We're still hoping it might be an E10 game. You think so, uh, David? What are the odds on that? Uh, maybe T14. I'm not okay. sure. Okay. All right. We'll see where they go. All right. So, we got the uh, Statue of Happiness there, which people are kind of think it looks kind of ugly. Wouldn't, wouldn't you say? Yeah, it's definitely a block like. Looks a little like <laughs> Superman 64. But, yeah, yeah. But, you know, it, it, happiness is not always equal beauty. So, maybe that's, maybe that's okay. Yeah. So, you have Nico meeting up with his cousin. He's just, get, just getting off the boat. The, the platypus, as we noticed in previous uh, trailers, as yeah. well as this one. And this is just a nice like, little example of the uh, graphical effects that are thrown throughout. You can see the sparks coming off the uh, bottom of the train. It's nothing anyone would ever see in the game, but the fact it's there is pretty cool. Yeah, no, we, we always love those details. <laughs> and now we see uh, Nico being introduced to Roman's uh, pad. It doesn't appear to be any bedroom in the apartment, so... I guess uh, Nico and Roman will be sharing the uh, luscious mattress on the fold-out sofa bed. And uh, of course, I guess <laughs> you can see the bugs on the bottom of his foot, maybe cockroaches. Yeah, there's some more humor in this trailer. And I guess this is their car driving around. You can see the sticker on the back. Uh, it says dial 255. I'm guessing it's one of those how's my driving stickers. And then we're going to notice in the driving scenes, it's, al it's always Nico driving, which you know makes sense. It's a GTA game. You'll be doing all the driving missions. And um, but it looks like your cousin's gonna be hanging on a lot. And you see, uh, it's another shot, maybe the same exact area or a similar area. You see this LCPD broker sign, I guess Liberty City Police Department. Not exactly sure what that's all about. Yep. And some nice uh, reflection effects off of the, the windshield there. Yeah, definitely. And there's the title screen, Grand Theft Auto 4. Oh, is that what we're watching? As if there was any doubt, I huh. know. Okay, okay, cool. Here we see uh, Nico got some new threads moving up. <laughs> yeah, in the world he already. dressed up for it tonight. And they're showing a lot of characters here in this club. Yeah, and we're going to have a guy coming up in just a second. He's going to actually uh, give the title to the trailer. Nico. <laughs> right, so we're probably having a good time. Yeah, and I guess he's found a girlfriend already. So. And we see an awesome shot of the city. We really get an example of a lot of the reflection on the water, the graphical effects there. It looks like a, some kind of military helicopter. Right. Gives you an example of it. This city is like, it has life. You can see the Empire State Building in the background and the other, you know, other buildings of the, uh, the skyline in Liberty City. And you see this dude right here, uh, you know, he's yelling about something. He's got a Chinese or Japanese, rather, tattoo on his chest, which we did some research, and the best we can find, we can't see the entire tattoo because his hand's covering it up, but we think it means uh, boy, teenager, child, something like that. And you can see on the bottom of his stomach, he has a tattoo that says mommy, so maybe that's some kind of reference to uh, mama's boy or something like that. All right, here we have, um, look closely at the, the Bristol area. <laughs> you can see, um, she looks like she has like little pasties on, on uh, covering her nipples, which, you know, that's what GTA games have done for their nudity. And so it looks like they're going to be doing that again. So maybe maybe it will still be a teen rated game, right? Maybe, maybe. Yeah, let's, let's not, not think so. So Nico's looking for Roman, and out he pops out of the dumpster. Yeah, yeah a little more of the humor. And a little uh, paranoid. And right. And, and you, can, you can quickly tell that, like, Nico is, like, kind of the alpha male, the dominant guy here, and then the cousin who's all talk, obviously, is just like a, almost like a bumbling fool, like a sidekick. Yeah, totally. And uh, you see the same helicopter from earlier in the right. trailer. And here we see uh, Nico getting hit in the face by <laughs> some guy wearing white makeup who's got a scar on his face. Uh, there's a road sign in the background. Uh, that says no horn blowing except for danger. So uh, just another example. And you see there's uh, appears to be fog or rain. Uh, so definitely environmental effects there. Oh yeah, definitely. And here we see a shot of a uh, duo hanging out the back of a car. One guy hanging out the back shooting. After looking at it a lot, we figure out it's not Nico and his cousin. Yeah, it's... you'll see later in the trailer that it's uh, another duo. And uh, you'll who... see who they're chasing. Right. Uh, and obviously see a heavy weapon ad in the background as well, <laughs> yeah. uh, which is we've seen in other trailers. Right. And this is when we figured out that it wasn't Nico and uh, Roman in the car. You see them. They have their dark colored Albany car again. They're driving through. Um, and in the background, you can see an Algonquin uh, road sign. And of course, they're being followed behind. You got the dude hanging and outside. Uh, Nico's getting slapped in the face. Yep, and then Roman on the other side there, all uh, bound up. You can see the box in the background. Everything's written in the Cyrillic alphabet, which is typical of Eastern Europe and Russia. So. Are you working for? And interesting thing is, you have a little fighting montage here. And this first guy, he punches. I uh, went back and checked it out. It's the same guy that has uh, Roman in a chokehold earlier. And it's also the same guy that's hanging out of the car shooting at Nico and Roman. Right. 
Uh, but there's a little montage here with some fighting and stuff going on. Yeah. Uh, maybe giving a hint of the new combat system the Rockstar's yeah, which, been hinting know, at. Yeah, the close combat has never been good in these games. It's been kind of just sporadic, just banging some buttons. And, you know, we hope it's going to be better. It, it looks promising, but, you know, we won't know until we get our hands on it. It's Nico being chased by a cop on a motorcycle. Yeah, it looks like maybe one of the highway models from San Andreas. Uh, and this is one of my favorite shots here. Yeah, it cuts it's a good to one. A, a scene of a guy falling, I guess he's been shot from a construction tower, and you can see his AK-47 falling right behind him. Yeah, so this one, we have the motorcycle. It's the same one that's on the cover, actually. Yeah, the uh, Shih Tzu NRG 900RR, if you're into the exact model numbers. <laughs> I'm sure you all are. And then again, it's... All right, this guy I like to call Birdman, because both he has a, an impressive beak, and he's flapping his arms, he's chasing like squawk, like, ah, rah, get out of here. Ah. Yeah, right. And this is actually one of my favorite uh, sequences in the uh, trailer. You see the rain effects. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Fireman running away from the car, and yeah, he uh, knows what's going on. His yeah. buddy, I don't know. Yeah, boom, and you see another motorcycle come driving through. You can see the excellent smoke effects in the background, and on the left side of the screen, you see a, a bullet hole appear with sparks fly. So there's definitely real-time uh, deformation from from gunfire. Next scene, we've got some police boats driving through. You see the octopus boat in the background. <laughs> I guess. Uh, Rockstar likes aquatic animal names for boats. It fits, you know. You see another shot cuts to Nico and Roman uh, driving a couple of guys in the back of a boat. You see him checking behind. Maybe they're looking at the police a little nervous, but the cop boat doesn't have its lights on. It's They don't seem like they're in too much of a hurry. Right, and, and they're escorting these two suits, and uh, we really don't know anything about them, you know. They're just kind of there for the ride. And yeah, and the, and the interesting thing is if you actually look at the next scene, it's different people in the back of the boat. So maybe this may be some kind of mission. You'll have like escort missions around the yeah. city. Maybe some yeah. kind of water taxi service. That, that would not be unexpected. To be calm, you hold it. Okay, and here's like the one scene, the shooting scene where he's not behind cover, but the guy up above, he looks like he's crouching. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And this is a cool shot here. You he pointed out uh, the blood on the leather. It still looks like leather, which is definitely a cool graphical effect. Look in the background on this scene, you can see a, a car had exploded. And now you have, you have a police cars and chopper chasing this dude who, who's not Nico. And he makes you wonder, like, GTA, the random street crime, whether that can have more of an effect. If this is an example of what happens when your wanted level gets higher, it's definitely pretty impressive and pretty intimidating. Uh, you have the, yeah. all these things chasing you around the city. Uh, I see another shot from the guy earlier in the trailer that slapped Nico in the face. Seems really worried. Yeah, it looks like the tables have turned on him and he's kind of looking scared. Leave my people alone! First you see Spronk again, Spronk Cola, and you see its sister drink uh, JoJo's Diet Cola. Yeah, everyone loves their soda in this world. It's true, except for Nico, who just shot a Spronk Cola bottle. <laughs> Around this scene, we got Touchy Tuesdays, which, you know, probably is a strip club. See another example of uh, bullet damage on the car. You see the cracked windows. Beautiful fire effects back there. I mean, that just looks amazing. You see in the background, Black Sea Caviar. Uh, so you know he's in some kind of Eastern European neighborhood. Right. and. I uh, got another ad there for uh, Cockadoodle Doo, which we've seen, you know, many, many times. And it brings us to the last shot of the trailer. Got a couple of guys, you know, basically threatening <laughs> yeah. Nico. Yeah, a little bit of humor with Nico here, you yeah. know. Since you put it that way, I mean. It's nice to see that, because GTA is always about the humor. And now seeing it from this seemingly serious main character, you know. Yeah, and it's the first it's nice. time you've really seen his personality kind of step forward. Yeah, absolutely. Nice. And there you have it. That's uh, Move Up Ladies, the latest trailer for GTA 4. Um, Unfortunately, still no release date where they... Yeah. Thanks again for, you know, listening in, watching, guys. Uh, for any updated news on GTA 4, be sure to check out 1up.com, uh, EGM, and GameVideos.com. See you next right time. On. All right, bye-bye.